Good afternoon YouTube, it's time for my Friday vlog on Saturday. <laughs> I was a little bit late this week, but boy haven't things changed in my tank. Um, as you can see, bottom right of the tank, I've just put a new piece of live rock in there. That piece of live rock weighs about three and a half kilos. So in total now, I've got the complete amount of live rock for my tank. That live rock's been in there a few days and I've been testing the water and making sure the temperature and everything stays the same and I went to the aquarium shop and I took my test results and told him everything that's going on with the tank and he said it's time to introduce a little bit more life to the tank. So as you may just be able to make out right in the middle of the tank at the bottom on that kind of little bit that sticks out like a foot is a little hermit crab. There are two of them in the tank. Goodness knows where the other one is. Um, yeah, so when you put them into your tank for the first time, you need to allow them time to acclimatise to your tank. So I left the bag in the water for around about half an hour for them to get used to the temperature and the movement of the water. And then gradually you let a little bit of the tank water into the bag so that the crabs can get used to the tank water and you do that gradually over say maybe another hour so they're really content and then in the tank they go. Uh, they're actually feeding on brine shrimp uh, and that comes in a little container with little cubes that are frozen and you chip off about an eighth of a cube, drop it into the water and they feed away. Uh, but they've been in the tank now for about 24 hours they seem quite happy, they're moving all over the rock and they're walking all over the sand, uh, so they're great. Uh, the other change to the tank is that I've put a black backdrop on the tank. So that's just a, a piece of um, like plasticky stuff, blue one side, black the other, and you just cut it to fit and sellotape that literally to the back of the tank. So that's pretty much it for my marine tank now. Uh, I'm going to leave it for about a week or so, keep up the, the measurements uh, with the test kit. Incidentally, the pH level is about 7.8, and then nitrate, nitrite, they're both zero, and the ammonia is also zero, as you'd expect from a tank without any fish or anything like that in it. So I'll just try and move in a little bit so you can see the hermit. Let's see whether it'll clear up a bit for you. There he is. Little stripy legs. Oh, and there's the other one on the top of that rock there. I'll probably get another couple of hermit crabs. I know you can get red leg ones and blue leg ones. So I'd also like to, to get one of each of those. And then hopefully I would would reckon around about a week's time and I'll be able to put my first clownfish in the tank. They are on order now, so I'm waiting for them to come into the aquarium. He'll quarantine them then for a couple of weeks and make sure that they're feeding and that they're healthy. <coughs> and then uh, I'll be able to put them in my tank. So everything's going really well. I'm really happy. Um, I think the key really to the marine uh, tanks is just taking your time with it. Do a little bit here, a little bit there and gradually it will come on. Now the other excitement, we've had an addition to the family. It's another fish tank. I've gone fish tank mad. Uh, not because my wallet can afford it, but because my sister has given me her fish tank. It's a tropical tank. I'll just move the camera over a bit so you can see it. Da da! How great is that? So uh, they had the fish tank, um, and really some of the fish died in it, um, and so that was it. Then they, they ran the fish tank with a few tetras in it, a guppy that you can see at the front of the tank there, and a plecky and a shrimp, and um, and that was it really. That they'd, they'd had enough and they wanted to rehome it, so. Uh, I gave it a good home. It's the Fish X box. 
It's a 64 litre tank and it comes with the, the beach wood effect stand. Uh, it's got a little castle in the back and a, a little uh, seahorse kind of tranquilment thing at the front. <coughs> um, and then they've got in there they've got some plants which aren't live plants, they're plastic. But they develop algae on them and some of the fish enjoy feeding off that. So now it's got a few more tetras in. I think there's about 10 neon tetras all in all in there. It's got the guppy, it's got the albino catfish at the bottom. And it's got a silver shark or two. You may see them in the background. Uh, what's really cool is front right of the tank right now on the top of that plant you can see a, a red jelly bean shrimp. Uh, and I think they're great. I'll just zoom in on that a little bit. But they're so cool, they fly around the tank at some speed. Uh, is that clear enough? Let's have a look. Sorry about the camera shake. There you go, look at that for a creature. There's two of them in there and they absolutely razz around the tank, eating all the algae and that kind of stuff. As you can see, you've got the tetras there. Uh, what's nice about that is there was one or two of them in the tank when I got it uh, and as soon as I bought a few more they've started to come out their shell as it were and they swim around in a, a little school and they feed together and they seem to sleep together and they're really smart. Well there's a silver shark, you see him in the background. That's a, a guppy, big fat belly, eats all the food, stays near the top of the tank. You can see another one of those little uh, jelly bean shrimps at the bottom there. So I'm well chuffed with that, uh, more than happy to give that a good home. Uh, just need to make sure that I don't turn into one of these aquarium nutcases and end up living in a home full of aquariums. I don't think it'd be too bad a thing, because I am well into it. So there you go, there's my vlog. I'll uh, do another one next week, probably Friday or Saturday time. And by that time, I, I hope that the... Crabs are coming on a little bit, uh, the hermit crabs, and I may even have another one or two crabs to show you. And I'll also do a bit of an update on the tropical tank. So thanks for watching everybody. Enjoy your tanks. Rate, comment and subscribe to see more videos of a similar nature. Bye for now.